Hi everybody, welcome to another craft video from the Olean Public Library. This time I'll teach you how to create some blackout poetry and a poetry zine. Stay tuned! So we're going to start with the blackout poetry, so you'll need one of the sheets from your craft kit, something to put it on so it doesn't stain your table, you'll also need a pencil and some kind of black marker. I decided to use a really thick sharpie. So first things first, here's my sheet that I'm using. What I'm going to do is take my pencil and just find words that I would like to put into my poem. I'm going to circle those and then we'll move on to the next step. So this is what that looks like with all the words circled. You can kind of see it here. Our next step is going to be to outline them with the black marker to make sure that we don't color over them. So here's me just making little squares around them to make sure that I don't cover them up. So here's what that looks like for me. The next step is to color all the other words that we don't want in our poem. So I'm just kind of going over the lines that we don't need and going around the words in my poem. So here's that finished product. You can just stop here and leave your blackout poem like this, but I'm just going to go in and sort of clean it up, make the paper a little more black, and the words looking a little more uniform. You don't have to do this step, I just wanted to for kind of the aesthetic of my blackout poem. And here's my complete finished blackout poem. Um, here's what it says. History should change her feeling, but she would not see that force. Thanks so much for trying, let's move on to the next craft, which is making our own zines. So for the poetry zine, you'll just need one sheet of paper, it doesn't really matter what type, it just needs to be a rectangle shape like this one. We are going to hold it in the landscape mode, sorry my camera is sideways for this. We're going to start with a hot dog fold downwards. Once you've got that all creased, our next step is to bring the left side over to the right and crease that. And then we will do that again, bring the left side over to the right. Just like this. Now that we've got those folds all creased, we're going to actually reopen the zine. Now we're going to turn our paper so that it will be in the portrait mode. We're going to fold down the paper hamburger style, and then we will need to grab some scissors for the next part. So we're actually going to turn the paper so that the open side is facing away from you, and we're going to cut just up to the middle part. As you can see, the fold is facing me, so now I'll unfold it and there will be kind of a slit right in the middle of the paper. Okay, so here's what it should look like. I'm going to fold it back down the hot dog way, and then I'm going to make this fold. I'll show you again in slow motion, but basically all you want to do is kind of make the diamond, fold it in, and then fold it down. That's really hard to explain. Feel free to stop and rewind the video if you need to. Now we just fold down the front part, and that's pretty much the zine. So as you can see, it opens and flips just like a book. Um, I would recommend going through and just labeling the pages with a light pencil mark, numbers 1 through 8, just so you know what order the pages will be in when you open it back up. So here's what that looks like. Here's my little zine. So at this point, you're welcome to open it back up and see the order where all the pages are, and that's pretty much it. You can lay it flat, draw on it. Um, I've got some examples here to show you. This is a poetry zine I created on Microsoft Word. There are templates online to be able to print them in the right order. And here's another one that I just found on a poetry website. As you can see, they kind of did it in a style of blackout poetry. So feel free to really explore your creativity through these. Um, 
really make them what you want. Thank you everyone so much for watching and we hope to see you next time with another craft. Have a good day.